ABC 2 News begins right now with breaking news. Good, ap good afternoon. We're going to go ahead and interrupt programming to bring you some breaking news. This is happening near Deer Park, outside of Deer Park. Take a look at your screen. Sky 2 is live right now. And right now we are receiving a preliminary report that some type of explosion happened at an industrial plant at 5900 State Highway 225. Responding units uh, can see the fire from the freeway. This is all according to the Harris County uh, Fire Marshal's office. And take a look, that plant right there fully engulfed in flames. We can see that thick black smoke, but inside those flames billowing and almost seeming as if they're, they're, they're blowing out higher and higher uh, the longer they, they, they stay there, the longer this goes. Again, this is a plant fire near Deer Park. We just got word of this probably about uh, 10 minutes or, or so ago. And right now, Harris County, the fire marshal, lots of different agencies are responding to this plant right now. We're trying to find out exactly which plant this is. But again, this is outside of the Deer Park area, an industrial plant. And again, 5900 State Highway 225. Sky 2, they're on the scene right now. And we don't know how many people are, are at work right now. And at this point, we don't know exactly how this explosion occurred. But with so many people uh, in this type of industry in the area, uh, we know that a lot of folks uh, know exactly the dangers that take place when we see something like this. And you can see right now there are firefighters there. There are crews who are, are uh, spraying that water on. And, and oftentimes in cases like these, in most cases like these, these plants have their own fire departments. They have their own people to respond. Uh, but of course, they will take the outside agency's help whenever they get a chance. And just take a look right now. You can see uh, a number of different uh, vehicles there trying to fight this, trying to put this out. Uh, we see some flames uh, approaching a van, uh, and we would have to assume that that is a, uh, a van that uh, belongs to either an employee who works there or perhaps a manager. But right now that, that is not moving, and those flames are approaching that van closer and closer, so that could be going up pretty quickly as well. But right now we see uh, probably about, uh, what is it, one, two, three, four, five uh, different hoses spraying this uh, fire right now. Don't know how much good it's doing at this point. We hope uh, some good because, again, that, that smoke right there you can see is just very, very thick and black. And that is telling us right now that uh, this, this fire, and you can see those flames in the middle as well. When we get to the point when we can tell that uh, they are making some good progress is when that thick black smoke turns white, uh, but we don't see any whiteness in any of that smoke right now. Uh, this is a fully uh, engulfed fire taking place right now. And you just look inside of that black smoke and you see those flames just shooting higher and higher. It seems in a case like this, again, we don't know the cause. We don't know exactly what exploded, but uh, that that fire is, is continuing to be fed by whatever the fuel source is, because you can see those flames uh, just just licking up in the air just over and over again. And that's uh, doesn't look like that's going to stop anytime soon. Again, uh, if you're just now joining us, uh, this is an industrial plant. Uh, we've gotten word of some type of explosion at this plant uh, at the in the address is 5900 State Highway 220. Uh, and the Harris County Fire Marshal's Office, uh, they obviously know about this. Uh, they have units who are standing by, but you know, some of those, those vehicles that we saw, those look to be uh, vehicles that actually belong to the plant itself. Uh, and I know our producers and our assignment desk right now, we're working to find out exactly which plant uh, this is. We don't want to give you that information if we don't know for sure. But my goodness, take a look. We don't know how many uh, employees, how many workers are there right now. We don't know if anyone uh, might have been injured in this explosion. But uh, you can see that this fire is being fueled right now. Uh, and it doesn't appear at this point from our vantage point and the experience that we, we have in, in seeing these that uh, the source of the fire uh, is, 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 is being tamped down um, right now at this moment, at least. So we're, right now, we're obviously hoping that uh, everyone there at that plant is safe. Uh, we do see that, uh, at least on the interior, that uh, whoever owns this plant, they have, like many plants, as I mentioned before, they have their own uh, you know, uh, crews that respond to an incident like this. Uh, and it, it looked to be, we didn't see any fire engines that were, that were marked, uh, showing that they belong to any counties or, or any cities. So uh, they, were, they were white vehicles. Uh, and it looked as if uh, they probably belong to uh, whoever owns this plant. And so they're going to, they know how to respond uh, to, to these incidents, but right now, uh, it's not that they're being overwhelmed, but they certainly uh, have their work cut out for them because as you can see, that, that smoke is not getting any, 
any lighter and you can still see those flames just just uh, billowing up uh, as, 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 as time goes by. So uh, we're, we're going to give as much information as we can. Uh, right now, Sky 2 just gets, a, gets around and gives you another vantage point. But, but we got reports of this explosion probably now about uh, 10 or 15 uh, minutes ago. And again, uh, some type of explosion at this industrial plant. And this is, again, State Highway 225 outside of Deer Park. Uh, and so we're going to, you know, find out all the details, find out exactly what plant it is. Uh, we know that our investigators will be digging to figure out exactly, uh, you know, how many employees might have been here uh, when this occurred. And uh, our hope, of course, is that everyone is safe. Uh, and, you know, you never want to see any kind of uh, incident like this. But uh, first and foremost, we hope that everyone is safe as, as uh, Sky 2 gets a, another look around at some of those uh, crews that are, that are fighting this fire. I can yeah, add, Frank, Frank, you're here. Yeah, I, I just wanted to add, I can pick this up on my radar, mm -hmm. the signature of that smoke, and it, it happened, at least I get the signature, at 2.56. Okay. So in the, the actual explosion may have happened a little earlier than that, okay. uh, just to get a scan on it, but 2.56 is when we start to get it, and it's pretty clear that there's a, a light wind out of the south mm -hmm. at about 5 to 10 miles an hour, but you can look at that smoke uh, with those distance shots that we have seen, and it's clearly moving north, look at that, north of... Uh, but very slowly. It's right. not it's not being pushed very quickly. But if you're north of 225, that's the direction that that smoke and any fumes associated with it are going to be. Uh, and, and hopefully no dangers. But that's going to be north of 225. As you said, we haven't heard of any shelters in place. But I'm getting a, a smoke plume, at least some in incidents on my radar, all the way to I-10. So mm -hmm. from 225 to I-10, we're getting at least some of that smoke already reaching that part of, uh, of the area on the, on the east side. So that would include um, almost to uh, Channel View mm -hmm. and certainly up around Baytown and continuing off toward uh, north of I-10 now. Okay, and you said that it was a heat signature that you can see at 250. Well, what I'm saying, what, yeah, what I'm seeing is this, I mean, what, the radar sends out a beam and then it's reflected back by anything, usually raindrops, mm -hmm. but smoke can reflect it back. So, right. so the, 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 I call it a heat signature because I'm looking at the fire, but it's, it's that smoke signature that, that we're getting. Uh, I can show you this uh, on our radar. 